Well, hello and welcome. My name is Krunal and uh, today we are going to start. We are going to learn web development, REST API development in Golang and uh, especially using Echo framework. Okay. In the first couple of sessions, uh, I'm going to spend some time talking about not Golang, but talking about net HTTP package in Golang. Okay. Uh, it's going to help us lay out some good foundation because uh, we are going to learn some concepts like handler function and some things that are idiomatic in Go in terms of Golang development. We'll just touch upon some of those basic concepts and that will lay a good foundation for learning Echo. Echo is a high performance, minimalistic and extensible framework. Uh, it's got all the qualities that Golang has and it's it's pretty easy to use and it's it's lightweight so I'm not going to be spending much time talking about how to install Golang on the system I'll be using Visual Studio Code VS Code as my editor and I'll be using Insomnia for testing REST APIs you might want to just Google them and install them yourself but I'll quickly show you how to make use of VS Code uh, so that you can do development in Go easily okay it's very easy it's just few couple of steps that you might already know but I'm just gonna run through them very very quickly so you come to the extension okay and uh, once you open VS Code you come to the extensions and you look for Go okay and you open the first thing that pops up it's very popular I look for this description visual rich Go language support visual studio code and then you click on the install button here because I already installed it I don't see it once installed you'll be able to see a reload button here so you reload it and uh, as part of that your VS code will actually restart if it doesn't restart make sure that you do it yourself okay because if you don't do it I think it, it sometimes causes issues with people uh, not able to get uh, the extension working properly and then they give up so make sure that you restart and then the next thing you want to do is you want to open the command palette from the uh, view menu and you go and look for go install update you would only be able to see this if your extension has been installed properly all right so you click on that and you have a list of packages that go is going to install once you click on this select all checkbox and click ok what's going to happen as part of that is that your terminal window is going to pop up if it's not open already and you'll see a list of these packages getting installed using uh, a go command and just let it happen it's going to be a minute and it's going to be ok ok and after that you will be able to use VS Code for Golang development. It will do auto completion, linting, and everything for you. And all these small little tips of linting and auto, uh, some some shortcuts and uh, auto completion and IntelliSense. I'll talk about it as I go through the session. Some of them will come handy for you. And uh, well, that is it. That's uh, with that we are off to a good start. And I'll see you in our first session. So. It's very nice to have met you and uh, let's see you in the next session then. I'm looking forward to that. Thank you.